Hi guys, I'm Helga from Helga's Pennsylvania Cooking and Homestead and today <clears throat> I'm going to make for you um, a venison meatloaf. Um, I'm getting ready to make dinner here. So meatloaf is what was requested by TDM and uh, I'm going to shape one up for you. So there's no right or wrong way to make meatloaf. You can make it a million different ways. Um, sometimes I use, I just throw together leftovers in my fridge. Um, but I tend to have one basic recipe of components that I usually use um, and also those of you that follow me know that probably 80 to 85 percent of our diet um, red meat diet is venison um, I still like my moo moo um, but the main portion of our red meat is venison that the family harvests so um, that's what we're doing tonight is venison meatloaf so I'll show you how I put mine together when I is uh, venison and this was harvested here this past fall um, from a deer that was gotten at our farm and you usually I usually make a couple loaves just because it's not like it's gonna go bad and then I can freeze it later <clears throat> so because usually we eat one usually we eat one now and I put the other one in the freezer and then when I need something quick on a, on a busy night and uh, you know I don't have time or energy depending on the shift I'm on and what's going on and stuff I just pull one out of the freezer to use and uh, then she's good to go okay so there's our venison and then I take a whole large onion and dice it and add that that's the other thing too about meatloaf. It's easy. I mean really just throw some stuff together and pop her in the oven. And you can always customize it. And I, I also urge people to um, you know experiment with flavors. I mean you can use uh, barbecue sauces and soy sauces and fish sauces and just all kinds of things. Whatever you whatever you like. Keep it interesting, keep it different. One of my main components is uh, my Montreal steak seasoning. I love that has the garlic and red and white pepper and some sea salt in it. Get that in there. And I will put in the description um, below um, approximate measurements because I've never measured this in my life. <laughs> I know that comes as a shock. I like using a either a uh, spicy brown mustard or in this case this is a sweet hot mustard like a deli mustard and that gives it a little kick because I like mine to have some oomph, then I add some ketchup. Like I said, I'll put approximates down below because I've never measured it in my life. And I add some Parmesan cheese. Well, this is actually Parmesan Romano, which is even better because everything is better with cheese. I add some Liam Perrins. Healthy dollop. Horseradish. That also gives it a little bit of a kick. I also have some um, French onion dried soup seasoning mix here. And I don't add a lot because it can be salty, but I do add a little bit to give, some, to give it some depth. So, I don't know, maybe one to two tablespoons. Like I said, not a lot. I also have some uh, flaxseed meal here. Flaxseed meal is a really easy way to incorporate some really healthy stuff into your diet. I do it, I put it in salad dressings and other uh, condiment mixes. I add it to my meatloaf or meatballs and it just, it's, it's a nice healthy way. The venison itself is also, you know, really lean and healthy. So this is actually a really unbelievably disgustingly healthy dish. Um, but the flaxseed is a really nice addition and it's really good for you and your diet. So I do recommend that. <clears throat> Um, I add a couple of eggs as a binder. And depending on how wet it is, I may add some um, Italian 
seasoning, uh, seasoned uh, breadcrumbs. So you're just going to give this a nice, good mix. And, and adding the Parmesan cheese and um, some of the other stuff helps keep the venison moist. Venison can get dry really easily, so you keep that in mind. Sometimes I'll even use um, a little uh, bacon fat to also give it a little extra fat if it needs to keep it help keep it moist so it's not dry. And this is still this is a, still a little a little wet, wetter than I normally would make it. So I am going to add just a sprinkle of the uh, seasoned breadcrumbs. Mix those in, mix this in, and then I'm going to um, shape it into two loaves and put it on my tray and bake her. So, I'll show you when we go to put it in the oven. Okay, so here they are on the tray. Um, I like doing them this way instead of in a loaf pan, so they're not as deep. But they tend to cook uh, more quickly and more evenly this way. Um, but you know, you can do what you want. Like I said, there's there's no right or wrong way. So I just garnished them a little bit with some spicy brown mustard and, and uh, ketchup, which will act as a glaze on the top, and they're going in the oven. 375 for about half an hour to 45 minutes. Here they are, out of the oven, nice and hot. See that? And uh, I'm going to get ready to plate up dinner and uh, we'll try her out. Here it is. You saw it out of the oven. Here it is on the plate. And see how it is. I think venison makes terrific meatloaf. Mmm. That stayed nice and moist with uh, the addition of the, of the cheese and of course the ketchup and the mustard. But it's a great way to use venison. And it makes a really good meatloaf. The horseradish and the spicy brown mustard gives it some kick. The flaxseed meal uh, sneaks in another healthy component. And nobody will ever know you used it. So you can make it healthy and sneak it in. So that's my venison horseradish meatloaf. Hope you like it. Until next time, bye.